These are my hands. These are my feet. This is my torso. And these are my legs. What's my problem? This. See, I don't look like I have multiple sclerosis. Whatever MS is supposed to look like. But clearly, there is something wrong with me. Since I was a little girl, I, I dreamed of being a performer. I wanted to do it all. I wanted to act and sing, dance, write, direct. Even at three years old, I believed I was Wonder Woman. Now I know I hit a fork in the road, but I'll choose my path. Look straight ahead, and I'll never turn back. Finding out I had MS was like a power outage. The spotlight went dark. I was in the prime of my life, just beginning my future, and I, I couldn't understand why this was happening to me. The stage was where I felt most comfortable because I, I was able to slip into the skin of someone else. And it was my role as an actress and as a musician to help my audience to understand and to feel what the character was going through, their, their struggles and their obstacles and their triumphs. But life cast me in my most challenging role as a person living with MS. But this time, I couldn't slip the costume off. MS can be a really confusing disease, uh, not only to those of us living with it, but I think more so to the people on the outside, because they can't see what we are dealing with on the inside. Invisible symptoms are difficult to see. And I wish I had a dollar for every time somebody said to me, you have MS, but you look so good. I think it's probably time that we bring the MS show on the road. Ooh, my favorite thing, escalators. I can't believe I'm in the mall right now, uh, but it, it's a challenge for those of us with MS, fast pace, lots of movement, balance issues, but it's for a good cause, so I'm gonna brave it. My name is Christy, you are? Rosalind. Rosalind. I'm, I'm Nick. And Nick. Have you guys ever heard of multiple sclerosis? I've heard I've of it I've heard before, of it, but I don't remember don't what, it know what it is. I think it's some kind of muscle disease. Do you feel like you're in school right now? Hey, <laughs> a little bit. A little bit. It's actually a disease of the central nervous system, so what, what part of the body do you think that affects? Uh... Actually, there's a lot of invisible symptoms. You wanna guess at some that I have right now? being too attractive, I don't know. <laughs> like Michael a lot. Shh, don't say anything because my husband's over there. But Numbness in the legs, weakness in the legs, getting tired easily, uh, getting overheated easily. This guy knows his stuff. My feet are totally numb right now. Okay. And I also have something called spasticity and it's a, a tightening around my abdomen. It almost feels like I have a belt on. Do you think it would be surprising if I told you that I had multiple sclerosis? Really? I do. Wow. Yeah. Would you be willing to slip into the skin a little bit of somebody with MS? Okay. All right. We call it slipping into the MS costume. <laughs> She's going to slip into my costume for a little bit. The whole costume? Well, I mean, do you like what I'm wearing? Is that okay with you? Do you have any choice of symptoms that you want? <laughs> Well, I guess you didn't really have a choice, so I as well just do whatever. It's so smart. <laughs> How does that feel? Oh, uh, could it be tighter? I've, it could be tighter, could but be. I shouldn't have said that. All right, here comes Ty. He's very brave, and uh, he's coming with a little bit of MS drop foot and some weakness and balance. How are you doing, Ty? Feels weird. Our next person is going to have a little bit of double vision. One thing that some people with MS have is optic neuritis. You see like this? I can't see anything. What people sometimes say to me is um, you, that I have MS, but I look so good. And I have to say, you look so good. Like, look right at the camera and show them how good you look. <laughs> Ooh. I just didn't know that much about it what people actually are going through. Bring me the cure, Michael, bring me the cure. Can you see the cure? 
think she wanted to take these home. <laughs> so here I am at Hartsfield Jackson Airport, the busiest airport in the world, where over 85 million travelers pass through here each year. That means that out of those passengers, 114,000 people are people living with MS, just like me. I'm glad you wore socks and there's no holes in them. Your mom would be proud. I'm uh, putting on high heels right now. I, I don't think mom would be proud of that one. People look at you and say, oh, you're a picture of health. But they don't know what you feel on the inside. Belt, shoe, flipper, weight, optic neuritis. I can't really breathe. <laughs> kind of like my wedding dress, I guess. <laughs> Except you knew the dress was going to come off eventually, yes. right? I can't feel the buttons. I can't feel the shirt. Oh, that's what you look like. <laughs> I got one. Um, um, I don't know, no, I I don't mean, know if you noticed, but um, you didn't get the right one, though. You, you skipped a button. Okay. Any advice that you give people living with MS for dealing with all this? I don't know if I have any advice. I don't think I do. Uh, I have no <laughs> advice. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm, so, I'm sorry. I feel so terrible because you, you, you feel terrible, and I hate that we just put you through this. All right, I'm going to let you go back there. Okay. And, and Change? Yes. But let you can't let the let. That's why I feel bad. Can I give you a hug? Yes, you can. Hopefully, we'll find a cure for the disease one day. Um, I don't think that it's a coincidence that the word dreams ends with an M and an S. But I also think that our dreams don't have to end just because we have MS. I hope that I get to do an encore production in a couple of years and it'll be entitled MS Cured.